Gagabi and White. Round one. Anytime there's two punches, then there's immediate excitement. I, if he lands, yes, anything's possible. We might have Hager in our lap if he's him out in round number one. The left hook. Well, I, I think that they really thought they could foul Mugabe up because he's been working against Southpaws all along, and all of a sudden he comes out. A wild swinging right by. A tough round, and Hagler with a fury in his eyes. Mugabe. Oh, that, that Mugabe got Hagler's respect that round. I could see it on Marvin's facial expression. He knows he's in. He's scheduled for 12, remember, under the WBC regulations for this bout. There's a left landed by Hagler. Solid left. The slugfest is on. Fight is yet, Tim. Looks like a fighter. Round two, scheduled for 12. A left lands from Mugabe. And a, that time, picked off by Hanker. But he had his own glove knocked. Well, this Marvin has seen anything like this. Good count. Which is not a good idea. Now we move. Mugabe tried to surprise him with that. Just duff the more vocal. What do you think of what he told Mugabe? Well, Tim, he told him, don't drop your hands. Don't get careless. Punch by Hagler. He's got Mugabe reaching a little bit now, Tim. A good block. Setting Hagler up for that punch. There it is. Trained so superbly. Never out of shape. Never been a factor for him. I think he has surprised a lot of people so far through three rounds. We scored that last round for Marvin. Three shots now, though, Tim. No counter from that right hand miss by Hagler. The left. Good combination by Hagler. Piston-like jab. Missed. Tangled then He was able to get hit with a couple of counter punches. Hagler blocking effectively. Mugabe has shown go. Round number four, scheduled for 12. There's that uppercut. uppercut. That... Right hand of the year at the bell for Mugabe. Round number five. Mugabe comes up quickly this round. And... Round five, scheduled for 12. That's an interesting progression in the fight for sure. The first round, working. Mugabe just stands in the middle of the ring, pivots around as Hagler, Sir Schuler, to win the NABF middleweight crown and do his part in creating the rematch. It's now noticed that he's been throwing his left hand very wide. That's about the straightest one he threw. Well, what Hagler is doing is, is look at just a minute ago. A test of physical strength now, and Hagler is having a good combination. But he can't move that Mugabe. Another left counter from Mugabe, and Hagler won't move back. A test of wills, finally. Mugabe driven back to the ropes. Hagler better not punch himself out, Tim. Now Mugabe. Punch himself out. John Mugabe is some tough customer. Takes another shot. He's hit. Mugabe attempted to grab Hagler. And Mugabe fires back. He lands the left hook. Mugabe is tie-in now. He seems to be able to take some good shots real good. You're listening to Thomas Hearns, who's joined Gil Clancy at me at ring station. Hagler's left hand is getting straighter now as we move on through the rounds. Uh, he just threw another straight right hand, left hand there. Hagler seems to be much better off in this fight. Oh, a good straight left by Hagler. And a right hook. Solid left from Hack. Combination. Mugabe's hands a little lower as time wears on. Bell ends right. By Mills Lane will be looked at kind of controversially when he stepped in to stop the action before and a round to go and taking that point away from our scorecard. He has had the best of it since round two, which we scored even. Uh, Tim and Hagler's corner. Good combination. 
Oh, an uppercut lead, that landed. But Mugabe fires well-conditioned athlete and two championship fighters. These guys are really tuned up. Mugabe, Mugabe would come out a much more popular fighter. No doubt it's an attraction. He is strong. And there's a solid right hand from Mugabe and Hagler. It's in your fight against Marvin Hagler. It must be a little frustrating to not see him respond, react. That's what's happening to Mugabe. Well, again, again, he said he said he... Well, he had everybody but Newt Lockney in the corner there <laughs> trying to pep up John Mugabe. Father Tony was there. Also, Tim, this is only the second... This, he's never been this far... A lot of rounds outdoors than it is in the smoky arena. So I don't think that either guy... Uh, right now, fatigue is not a factor. Round nine scheduled for 12, and there's a right hand from the challenger, Mugabe. That scored. Punches by Mugabe, Tim. Right hands right down the pipe. And there it is again. He doesn't have the balance. He can't come back with the left hook. Well, that's something you got to learn in training. You got to work on. Was not doing so well in the previous rounds. He said, you got yourself back into it. It's now a three-round fight. We're into round number 10. Just keep popping. Don't show him too much respect. Well, I, got, I, I got the impression that Andy Mugabe, with their comments, is saying, just get back into your rhythm, Marvin. Mugabe's landing a lot of good yes, punches now, Tim. Yes, he is. That last Oh, good straight right hand. At times, Hagler falls apart. He forgets what's it, what he's doing, it seems like. Big left hook by right, Hagler. Right wide shot. Chopping uppercut from Hagler. Hagler doesn't get the credit for being as good an inside fighter as he is, and he's showing us why right now. Hagler is trying to keep his hands down the low to, to try to block those body punches. But all he's done is setting himself up with some good shots to the head. Short chopo on Mugabe. Oh, Bobby didn't like that body shot. That was a good left hook. He's tired now, Tim. The end of round 10. Well, John Mugabe certainly got lots of encouragement. The Mickey D Wings two over the top just for good measure, and he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. Mugabe finally goes down. In the 11th round, he's more dead tired than anything else, and it's all over. He's just exhausted from the... And he'll be back. He's only 26 years of age, doesn't have much experience because he knocked everybody out so quickly. He doesn't have many rounds under his belt. That's right. His first defeat after 26 victories. And now let's go to Al Bernstein with Marvin Hagler.